Oh shit! Yo, I almost slipped, brah. Ah, sick. Woo! Testing one, two, three. Yep, it's a uh, Oh yeah. Greetings, everyone. Finally made it to Bracknell after a wonderful morning. Here with my boy. Guess what his name is? Do you know it? Ah! <laughs> say what's up. Say what's up to the group, bro. Yeah, what's up, baby? Yeah. So, do you know we went? To, we actually went to the same university, UCT, back in the day, and we met each other this side a couple months ago. Where did we meet again? It was um. Here. Yeah, you, at your place first time. Oh yeah, yeah. They came to my place to. Anyways, so when I posted my story on Instagram saying that I'm looking for people to go cycling with, he was like, let's go. And that's where we are. Ah, it's been a crazy morning. So the plan was to take a train to Reading through Paddington. So the plan is to wake up at half seven, no, wake up at seven o'clock, shower, do all the good things, leave home at 7.30, get to Paddington at 8.30, take the 8.30 train to Reading, and then from Reading, take the nine o'clock train to Bracknell, get here at 9.30, and then take a bus to Swinley Forest. That's a long ass trip, damn. Yeah, it's a two and a half hour trip, which is pretty typical this side if you don't have a car. But uh, yeah, the beauty of not having a car here is there's really good public transport. Fuck vlogging is hard. So I just took a look, uh, I just took a look at the video quality from this camera and oh my god, it is amazing. It is so sick and I was really worried because I left my camera. Uh, one thing I struggle with a lot is when I take my camera for like outings, it's really hard to focus on like enjoying whatever you're doing and also try to vlog at the same time. So one of the reasons why I was willing to spend on this phone so i could leave my camera behind and use my phone for for pictures and for videos and you know whatever and today was a perfect time to try it out so i've got my phone i've got this mini tripod here and i also picked up my gopro to get some action shots on the trails you know and uh, hopefully hopefully we get some good shots without my camera it feels really weird but let's give it a shot okay testing the camera this time with the wide lens so I'm actually using my main camera, so I actually can't see myself. Uh, so I'm curious how the wide lens looks like. Right, uh, we just arrived at Swinley Forest and this place, this place is giving outward bound vibes. Outer bound is like a thing in Zim. It's a, uh, how would you describe outer bound? It's like a school trip, like. It's a. Yeah, so like people go there for like uh, leadership camps. Yeah. We used to go there for like team building stuff. Team building. As kids, it was really fun. Um, so this place gives me that vibe, but this place is specifically for mountain biking and like stuff. So you see bicycles everywhere. And that's a good sign, because we here for biking. <laughs> anyway, so our appointment is at 10 o'clock and we're here right on time. Greetings. Do you know where you're going today, guys? No idea. So right, are you trying to do the trails? Uh, yeah. I'd recommend starting on the green, get yourself warmed up, and then head on to the blue straight after. They're yeah. right next to each other, so not too far to go. Okay. Yeah, and I'd also recommend taking a picture of the board before you go as well. Just so <laughs> In case I get lost. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it. Ah. More. Oh, yeah, let's go. Ah, blue trail. Right, so when you're mountain biking, don't be afraid of standing on the bike. It's a lot easier to control. Believe me, yeah, let's let these guys pass. So, so especially when I'm on my bumps, just this. It'll make life so much easier for you. Your boy, how's it going? Hi. First time mountain biking. <laughs> One of the geographer skills. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, lovely.
Oh, mate, show me what I'm looking at. Sergi coming over. Yeah. Man's already pushing and we are <laughs> about five minutes into the no two hour ride. You know, that was hard. When... Awesome. Yeah, no way. <laughs> I shouldn't be too bad. It doesn't look like a hilly place. A few moments later. So we've been cycling for. Oh, huh, guess what time it is? It's 10 minutes to 11. Really? Time flies. So we're probably almost done with this trail then. Because apparently it's an hour. Uh, but we did start at like maybe quarter past 10 so we're still there but this place is so damn beautiful like just woods and cycling and adrenaline i am extremely exhausted <laughs> and i forgot to bring some water because for some reason your boy forgot that uh, cycling requires a lot of drinking but luckily my sons that are here brought some water which we are sharing so Hopefully we can survive on the bottle. So we've just been on the blue trail, which was six and a half miles. And about, I think it took us like 40 minutes to finish the blue trail. How do you feel though? How's the first, uh, this is the first time mountain biking? First time. Yeah, how was it? I mean, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah the scene's up as well. The scenes are good, huh? Yeah, it's a very beautiful forest as well, so yeah, helps. Nice. Some Would you come back air, here? Some fresh air away from London. Man. That is true, bruh. Yeah. And it's, it's also, the weather is actually not too bad today. It's not sunny, but it's definitely warm i never thought i'd call 20 degrees warm but it is it is a bit warm today oh 20 degrees is bliss uh, yeah 20 degrees is burning yeah that's like peak summer <laughs> so after finishing the blue trail we did a bit more cycling exploring the forest we were pretty tired so we took it really slowly and my god this place is absolutely gorgeous highly recommend if you're into outdoor activities you do not have to be a cyclist or you know a hardcore mountain biker or anything if you know how to cycle you will enjoy this place now if you are interested this place is about one hour from london it's a forest called swindley and it's in a little town called bracknell the bikes we rented were 35 pounds per two for two hours there is a cheaper version which goes for 25 pounds but it only has front suspension which is not a train wreck but if you're going to travel all the way to swindley for cycling you might as well be comfortable as you're at today right we are done cycling my legs are just gone they feel like spaghetti right now so we're now waiting for an uber to take us to bracknell town center then we're gonna grab some lunch and then from there we'll make our way back to london uh what time is it now it's quite a past 12 yeah just in time so we'll probably be in bracknell by maybe half 12 ish Grab lunch, we'll probably be leaving back now around half one to two o'clock. Uh, holy shit, I am extremely tired. But I think that was a lot of fun. First time going actual mountain biking on mountain biking trails in the UK. I have been cycling in Epping Forest, which isn't really a mountain biking place, but there are some nice mountain bike, like, you know, trails and scenery there. But this was a first experience and I thoroughly enjoyed it. How did you feel? It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. Nice. What was your favorite part? Um, I think like the, how I got like a bit of exercise as well. Yeah. Uh, I obviously like bro, the fresh air is different. The fresh air, yeah. yeah it's yeah. different here, man. Nice scenes, the greenery is amazing. Yeah. And yeah, it was therapeutic as well. Mm. It was so relaxing as well. Like it's weird, but yeah, I enjoyed it. It was really I didn't fun. Know what I expect, nice. Yeah. yeah. So our ride is here. I'm gonna take the Uber back to Bracknell. There you go.
Good afternoon, sir. Good, how are you? Oh, sorry to make your beautiful, clean car a little bit dirty. There's no mud though, so that's good. So, are you guys going to the old manor? Uh, JD with the spoons, right? Uh, yes. I, th I think it's the one, yeah. yeah. Alright guys, I'm gonna drop you off here. Awesome. Go up in the car park, it's on the right hand side. Ah, oh, sweet. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. Likewise. Uh, this is one of the first places I ate out in when I moved to the UK. It's pretty chill. It's like family friendly. Is it family friendly? Yeah, I'll say so. Yeah, it's kind of family friendly. Um, and it's got a really nice vibe as you can see so we ordered some i ordered a, uh, a mixed grill what did you order i can't believe i've become a beer person it's a good so, oh, so, so you weren't a beer person before? Nah, not really. Yeah, until you moved here. That was fast. The food is here. Right. Uh, large mix grill? Yep. Ah, yeah. oh, lovely. Wow. Yeah, that's cool. Thank you. Oh, sick. Thank you, sir. That's the boneless basket. Chicken stuff. And I've got the mixed grill here. Lots of meat. Yeah, how do you not know my YouTube channel, bro? Ah, uh, this nigga. I, I know you post on Gram. Yeah. yeah. Nah, YouTube. Uh, follow trying to adult on YouTube, bro. Thirty next year. This year. Nah, you might not. Next year. <laughs> What's your plan for the big three hole? You know what? I usually don't plan the face. Say, say. <laughs> Oh, if 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 I do so, if I do plan something, it'll be like a week in advance where it's mostly like just something, just not chilling at home. It'll be here, uh, okay, I'm going to do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but I think you're right. Next year, I do actually want to make a proper plan. Mm. Yeah. One thing I've noticed over the side is you want to make plans in advance. Because tickets get pricey, you're closer to whatever you're doing. Yeah. You know. But you're like October is usually not too expensive that period. From what I've seen. Well, it depends where you're flying to. But when I was booking tickets to Zim, for example, I you know it is the period between yeah, September, October, November. Usually, it's good prices. At least if you want to fly to Zim. So I imagine it's probably the same with uh, most other destinations. Do you have any plans? Do you have an idea? No idea. <laughs> I have things on my map. Because what I usually do, like, when I meet people, I ask them, like, things they enjoy doing in the UK, whatever. And you know, I take note of them on my map. So I have a bunch of things. Yeah, in the UK, I do. And there's things within Europe. So I'll probably pick something from there. So. That was a good lunch. How was the lunch? Awesome. I needed that. Yeah, I needed that. It was, it was so fulfilling. I'm so full. Couldn't even finish my food. I did order a large because I thought I was hungry. I was, but not that hungry, clearly. Anyway, so we're now rushing to the station. Our next train is at 13.50 and it's currently 13.45. If we miss that train, it does mean waiting an extra 30 minutes. Which is not a drain wreck, but it would be nice to not have to wait that long. So I think we're gonna make it though. GPS says we're three minutes away, so and usually the trains here are on either on time or slightly late, so we should be good. Ah we're almost there. We wanna run but the thighs are dying, eh? Ah. Turn left at Bracken Walk. Hey, there you go. It's a lovely tunnel. Turn right. Yeah. 
Okay, almost there. Uh, this way. And we made it. Your destination is on the left. Take the Southwestern Railway to Reading. It leaves in three minutes from Platform 2. Ah, oh, shit. Just in time. Just in time. Oh. <sighs> Running after mountain biking is a bad idea. Southwestern Railway for five stops from Bragnall. Thank you. Uh, but imagine we had trains, we took a train from Mutai to Harare. That could easily be a two hour train. Imagine you're on the Great Zimbabwe train to <laughs> to Blawai, <laughs> calling it Kwe Kwe. Kwe. <laughs> uh, yeah, good. Ziwara Sekwa. And Blawai. If you see something suspicious. <laughs> so this is where we part ways. We both going to London, but he lives in northwest London, right? Yeah, that's an area called Uxbridge. And I live in East London, which is like I think it's an hour away from his place. Uh, so we're gonna take slightly different trains. I'm gonna take the GWR straight to Paddington. And he's going to take the Elizabeth line to Waste Drayton. It's nice cycling with you, man. I think mountain biking is so underrated. It's so much fun. But yeah, you should definitely do it again. I think. Take the GWR to London Paddington. It leaves in eight minutes from platform 11. Oh, cheers, man. Yeah, say bye to the boy. <laughs> Finally, on the last leg of my journey, walking home from the station, taking a shortcut in the graveyard, because that's a normal thing they do. That's, that's pretty much my first vlog in the UK. My first, I guess you could call that a travel vlog, because I did have to travel two to two and a half hours to get to, uh, um, to Bracknell and Swindley Forest. Uh, I think the last time I did something like this was when I went to Swaziland for my friend's um, wedding. There are lots of really cool small towns in the UK and I think I think there's a lot to discover here. One thing I love about the public transport service here is it's really easy to get anywhere in the country. There's going to be a train station nearby and if you live close to London, most train stations will have a train every 30 minutes or so, which isn't too bad, honestly. Um, so that makes life a bit easier. I have a bicycle, so I can just take my bicycle on the trains and then enjoy myself. Okay, so drop a like. Well, like the video, drop a comment. Say what's up, let me know what you think about the vlog. Let me know what else you'd like to see around the UK. And uh, yeah, I might be doing a lot more of these vlogs, eh? So yeah, you guys have a good day. I'll see you in the next one.